Hello everybody, this is Chad, and um, the purpose of this video is, as you see in the title, um, Trader vs. Investor. Now, I want to make a video like this first off because the thing that prompted me to do this video, and by no means am I bashing you know, this channel, but Kitco News here on YouTube, they always have two individuals on there. One's name is uh, Vince Lancey. And the other one is Jim Wyckoff. Okay, now I've I've made comments in the videos many times, and what I see is it's very dangerous for people to have two split personalities when it comes to gold and silver. Okay, you can either be one side or the other, or you can be one side at one time and then change into another at one point in time. And I wanted to see if I could find. Some type, some type of explanation online here, and I thought this one was pretty good. It's not too long. Um, I want to read it real quick and then talk about it. Okay. This one's called Traders vs. Investors. Many people enter the market as an investor. They buy and hold a you know security or currency or a different asset class or stock, bond, whatever, hoping that they will appreciate in value. In other words they are always looking for the market to go up. The typical investor aims to buy low and sells high to make a profit. Some of these people will leave the investing game and turn into trading. Many people who think of themselves as traders are in fact continuing to act like investors. That can cause serious problems because trading and investing are very different activities which require a different trading mentality. If the trader does not stop acting like an investor, many good trading opportunities can be lost. This also leaves the trader open to additional risks as options are held, uh, as positions are held longer and exposure increases. Let the different type of traders, such as range and, range and trade trend traders, the different types of market participants like traders and investors must know their role and act accordingly. Traders simply do not act like investors and vice versa. Trading requires a different set of thought processes that enables a person to view a trade simply as a profit endeavor. In many ways the great advice and strategies offered by market experts such as Warren Buffett um, doubt it, uh, and William O'Neill from Investor Business Daily simply will not apply to traders. They are investors. Now this is very interesting. Uh, obviously he's a he's a flip flopper, right? Um, I'm not even going to get into that part. I think you can go wild in the comments on that one. Um, mixing mixing the roles can lead to diminish, diminishing trade potential and reduced profits. Let's take a look at the differences between traders. Common characteristics of traders. Traders enter a position to make money. Traders will short sell a currency or whatever it is. Traders will hold for a short period of time. Traders will use technical indicators and charts. Traders cut losses. Traders take profits quickly. Okay. Common characteristics of investors. Investors will buy and hold. Investors enter long or buying positions. Investors will hold for a long period of time. Investors focus on fundamental analysis. Investors are not concerned with short-term losses or the short-term noise. Investors let profits accumulate. Now, the reason I'm getting into this, traders versus investors, is because throughout this precious metal bull market cycle, Okay, starting in say like late 1999 in gold and silver. Mainly it started with gold, then it cycled over in, into silver around the end of 08, you know, or the, the known ones. Okay, but ever since that, both have per, pretty much been going up. Now, the difference between the trader is that I know either personally or people I have seen or talked or heard talking online, many of them were trading the precious metals in the paper options futures okay the paper products throughout the entire time frame mainly from 99 through up about 2008 
before things really got wild, right? And then ever since that, you had a cycle to where people started getting involved in the physical ownership, okay? Which now turned them from a trader to an investor, right? Because that's what it says. It's a long-term holder, understanding fundamental analysis. Now, the problem I have is that people that talk about the precious metals have the um, forefront or the smoke screen saying that they're an investor, but they talk like a trader, okay? You cannot be a trader and be an investor at the same time, okay? Depending on what you're in, you could be, okay? But for the most part, you can't be, especially in the precious metals, okay? You can trade and hold physical at the same time. I'm not saying that. Obviously, anybody can do that, right? But I'm saying is if you want more people to get involved in precious metals, okay, specifically the safe haven asset away from paper currency and paper currency denominated assets, right, you have to understand the differences between an investor and a trader, okay? If you don't understand that, or you don't perceive that clear definition, because there is a clear definition, you can be both at the same time, right? Uh, you know, people that, that are online, all of us that we well, well know, you know, well-known people online, they've done both, okay? But they understand, and they make that clear definition between I'm a investor holding physical metals, but I also trade some on the side, okay? I love the fact that they separate those two, okay? These individuals I had mentioned earlier, and I'm, I'm not just picking on those two, okay? I'm just using that as example. They do not give a clear definition of the two. And what I am most um, concerned about at this point in time, in this part of the game, especially where metals have been relatively flat and kind of boring, I guess, in my, in my opinion, um, but not from an accumulation standpoint. I mean, I love getting gold and silver, right? I mean, I think you all do too. Is that if you don't clearly define the two and you talk like a trader, people that want to get out of their paper and know that they should be getting involved in physical you know, metals, they'll be listening to these people that trade the markets. The people that trade the markets only look at the short-term noise. They, they have to look at the short short-term noise because that is what makes their decisions upon trading day to day to day right but an investor it's it's different it's different than that because we own the actual commodity okay and if you were to buy one week and sell two weeks because one of these individuals said well it doesn't look good now you know it did before but now it don't look good you know you see where I'm going with that you know people are going to get confused they're going to say what the hell's going on you know, what am I supposed to do? So I wanted to make this video. It's, you know, relatively a basic video, but I hope people that are newer to this game, you know, stumble into this video because there is a clear definition. So um, I'll put a link in the description bar to the uh, article that I, I stumbled on and wanted to put in this video. Uh, and uh, that's it for now. So, um, I just want to do my part in, in making this clear definition because uh, if you if you say yes there is or no there's not a clear definition, you know it, it's all in the eyes of the beholder. But if you really take a look at this, you can clearly see that people that want to get involved in precious metals, people that um, you know see all this volatility in the trading markets and say, well, I just don't understand enough to get into this. You know, you know obviously there's a clear definition. So I I felt the need to make this video. So till next time, it's Chad. Y'all take care. Have a good day.